Solidified. Out of the frying pan. Born of ice and frost. You're a good fighter. You bet. We were the ones who went and got the blood branch coral that one time after all. <gasps> you. So you... What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if what you say is true, then I'm sure you'll be able to conquer the three border towers quite easily. Also, there are a few things I need to explain to you. According to what I have read, the fundamental purpose of the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri is to use the Serpent God's life force to awaken its second familiars, the Senga Koralia. They are creatures that break down raw, primitive elemental energy into the milder elemental energy of the human realm. The giant coral is a symbol that the Sangha Koralia have been awakened by the serpent's blood. The mass awakening of the Sangha Koralia causes a transformation in the ecological environment of Enkonomiya. Makes sense. Even if you took away the darkness and the monsters, Enkonomiya would still look pretty different now with all the new plants and ore around. Things are even more complicated than usual this time. The darkness from the Void Realm seems to be suppressing things in the Light Realm and the Human Realm, causing them to come to a standstill. You may need to use the power of the Bokuso Box to dispel the darkness and allow the ecological transformation to continue. Please, try to solve the problem using the Bokuso Box. I'll wait for an update for you under the statue over there. It seems that you have mastered the Bokuso box. Now, let me tell you about the ultimate purpose of this operation. As I said, we need to proceed to the three towers on Inkonomiya's borders. They're towers of the void, restored to their original form by a certain Abyss adherent. Abyss adherent? Wait, do you mean... He's a purveyor of incessant nonsense. Somehow he found out about the Three Realms and the Three Corners and brought those things in using Abyssal technology. Then he started disseminating Abyssal energy using the towers. This caused great suffering for both the Senga Koralia and the Bethysmal Bishops. I don't know why he's doing this. For us, the Abyss is highly toxic. For them, intoxicating is more the word. Addictive, but still destructive. Maybe he just likes to toy with people and stab them in the back. Paimon knows exactly who you're talking about. You know him? Hm. Then it seems we have a common enemy. Oh, you bet we do! To get rid of the darkness, you need to climb to the very top of the Towers of the Void and activate the Light Realm Chisel, which will let in the energy of the Light Realm. In Enkonomiya, the ley lines of the human realm, the elemental currents of the light realm, and the dark currents of the void realm are all exceptionally strong. Also, I only performed the Sento ceremony going off the steps in the book. 
But I believe the key to the ceremony is the statue in front of us. You can offer crystals of Light Realm energy to it to increase the Bokuso box's power. Also, resting here can restore the box's energy. Please, take this hand-drawn map. I've marked out the locations of the three towers for you. You'll need to explore one step at a time, and I'd recommend you start with this tower. Well, that's as much help as I can offer you. I'll be waiting here for the good news. Kami-sato art! Sumetsu! My apologies! I shall treasure this good fortune.
people. treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. a drink it is a treasure
The abyssal energy that was released when the towers connected doesn't seem to be disappearing. The darkness is infiltrating the land and causing changes in the surrounding area. We should go check it out if we have time. your drink huh. rain outlines your fate witness the power whirling snow coming so to art so today is a lucky day Outlines your fate. My apologies. 
Outlines your fate. Witness the power of Go. Take flight. Yeah, Kamisato Art. Sumetsu. She'll treasure this good fortune. Thank you. 